Gold, and I have my tri captains here. Uh, Ceci Emery, who got the, the winning goal, the first goal. Uh, Ainsley Elschmidt, who um, got the second goal. And Emily Metzel, who quarterbacks our defense, who got us the shutout. Yep, from far, yeah, yeah. How did that first goal come? I mean, I saw it, it was a highlight reel kind of goal. It looked like the, just like you put it up on the, the chalkboard. Yeah. Uh, how, how, how do you remember it? Um, I just remember seeing Olivia coming down the field. She took a touch in. She looked up. We made eye contact, and at eye that contact? point, yeah, okay. and at that point, I knew I had to run across that field and just get the ball. Um, Holy Angels did a good job of defending and everything. I felt go right on my back, so it was a foot race at that point. And then, it was like a pitch right down the middle, and you <laughs> drove it up the field. Yeah, definitely. And then when you hit the ball right, you just know, and it just went right over the goalkeeper in. And it felt great. And your goal, how did you all of a sudden you're one on one with the goalie? How did that happen? Uh, I don't know. I think that the ball was just bouncing and I saw it and I just took a really aggressive touch because that's kind of my mentality for everything. And then I just <laughs> and then I just felt no defenders on me, so I took a touch to turn and face the goalie and I could see her coming out, so I just like blasted it and then it went through her legs in the net. So. You had to shoot from the side that she just about get it, or what? I'm sorry, what? You had to shoot from the side that she just about get it? Yeah, I, it kind of like deflected off of her into the net, but yes. Mm -hmm. And through the legs. And through the legs. <laughs> Easily, your goal in, in, in the context of the game is, is a big time goal, 65th mm -hmm. minute. Um, but the problems they were having generating their own chances, the problems they were having with their goaltender, mm -hmm. beating her, that, does that? give you a big emotional lift, like, okay, it was, it was, we've done enough here, let's, mm -hmm. let's keep, I, keep it up. Mm -hmm. I think that after I scored my goal, my personal energy went up, and I was just screaming my head off, like, let's go white and everything, trying to keep the energy up, and I think that did, like, kind of lift the energy for us to, like, keep a 2-0 lead, and I think, like, all together as a team, I mean, we were just, just absolutely, like, I don't even know how to describe it, like, we were so defensively alert and offensively ready to attack. And I think all together as a team, that's what makes like Matamidai, like Matamidai girls soccer is just like as a team, we all like work towards our goal and our goal was to win state, so. It does seem like this team was particularly like relentless. Uh, what do you think about you guys made you that way? Like, why do you think that was kind of your identity? I think last year losing in the section final was like huge. We have 11 seniors on this team and just all of us wanted it so bad, and just we knew the pain of losing last year, and we just didn't want that to happen again. David was talking about each, each year is different. Did you feel that carryover at all? Like oh, it was. I mean, it, it, when you're like, if you think back to when we lost it two years ago in the final uh, to Holy Angels, it's tough to motivate a team that's won four state championships in a row. They they don't realize they can lose, um, and so it's a lot easier to coach a team that's bitter. <laughs> and we were bitter this year. Um, and talking to Scott uh, Helling from, from Benilde, he's, he said that. He goes, you guys play with a little bit of anger. And, and we do. We're, you know, we're, we know. And out in the hallway, they're like, we're, we're your best team. And I'm like, they might be. It's hard to, you know, there's, there's so many good teams. But the team that lost it, you know, they were a really good team. And so it, it's about, you know, it's about attitude. And it certainly is easier after you've lost to kind of come back and have that and, and realize it and know that you're mortal as an athlete and, and to, to take each moment, you know, and, and make the most of it. And these guys did. Soccer can kind of come down to a bounce here or there sometimes, but you guys just seem to create like, such a margin that that wouldn't be the case. <laughs> Was that kind of the plan and the goal for each time you went out there? <clears throat> yeah, we all know each other very well. We're very comfortable. We all act like a family. We tell each other everything. And we work through problems as a family. And I think that's what really brought our team together and makes us, just us in general. You know, some teams, you know, they're individual and everything. But here at Matamidai, you know, we don't let that happen. We are family, and we make sure that everyone is included and feels a part of that. Kelly coach that now. Did you guys have conversations about wanting to be, like, considered the best Matamidai team? Yes. Yes. 
hundred percent. Yes. Always. I don't yes. remember these conversations. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, too bad. <laughs> they had a shot in the first half where you almost had to be six foot three and a good athlete to stop it. <laughs> what was your reaction when you saw that? The girls, big lift. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean. You know, with our goalkeeper, Harlow, as tall as she is, she definitely builds our confidence. Even our other goalkeeper, Jackie, when they take shots, we look at them and we just, we know their ability and they also lift us up. And when they get the ball to us, when we hear them yelling to us, we just feel that confidence and we know that they have our back no matter what. Yeah, that player, 24 goals, 16 assists, and he Anything special in your defense for them, or you just played the way you always do? We we did not. We just our our defense is special. Um. <laughs> I mean, is there any one, in a particular marker, or you just no. We 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 played our style. We knew they had great players, but we're going to run multiple people at you. We're going to hustle. We're going to be physical. Um, but I, I mean, I look at our four. We only gave up seven goals this year. Um, you know, like, and, and if you look at, we sub a lot early in the season, and it causes us, you know, if you look at our record early on, you're like, but that's by design. We want people getting involved. We want, if people get hurt, we want people ready to go in those situations. And, um, but when it comes down to it, I think we, you know, we gave up only seven goals this year. Is that um, a record, by the way, for your school? It might be. But we've, we've had a couple years that are close. I, I need to go back and look. I don't recall. Um, it, but it, you know, soccer is a—it's a tougher game now. So I'd say what this team did with seven goals is impressive, um, and against the opponents that we play. You know, most of our our, our opponents are AAA, bigger schools, and and I look—you know—with subbing, I, I would bet that our four def defenders were not on the field as a unit when those seven goals were scored. I'd be surprised. Maybe against Eastridge, mm -hmm. so. <coughs> And if you remember, I used to sub a lot in defense this year. <laughs> Those four, I think they may get four minutes of non-playing the, today. The other coach said it was like it being in a prize fight where the other fighter has a five-inch advantage of reach because you're so big in the front, bad line, and athletic. And at the up. Before the first goal, about halfway through the first half, what were some of the things you guys were thinking about? Uh, I know personally, um, you know, the one thing always on the soccer player's mind is to score. I mean, you know, I wanted to make sure that we were communicating as a team, that we were getting up, figuring out how we can use our, each other's strengths around Holy Angels because they have an amazing team. And I think once we got further into that half and everything, we figured out how we can use our strengths to get around their strengths. And I think that actually really helped each other's confidence and ability to communicate and work together. How, how, just for the record, how many goals, how many goals is that for you this year? How many for you, do you know, offhand? Three for me. What? Three um, for me. Three? Yep. I don't know. Um, Paul, do you know? No. <laughs> Uh, I'm not quite sure, but <laughs> she's got that. <laughs> Coach, what are you gonna remember this team as? Best team, not best team, whatever. Like, what? What's gonna be the thing? I, you know, they talked about um, being a family. It really, when you put 24, 25 people together in a, you know, stressful situations, um, things can blow up. Things you can have issues. There was a team that we, very good team that we we thought they weren't going to make it out of a team meeting. Um, I didn't feel there was the drama with you guys. I really, mm -hmm. they're very close, they're friends, they enjoy being together. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, they are a family. Is there something about uh, your strength training that helps you win like a lot of balls? There was a lot of times where it's like two people sliding at the ball, and they're falling down, and you guys just plow through the I think definitely Brad our, is our assistant coach and he runs like the strength training that we do and it's very focused and honestly everybody loves it so I do think that is a factor but I also think that 
just our mentality. Like one of the things we wanted to work on this season was definitely just winning every single ball out of the air as well as a 50-50. So I think that mentality is just instilled upon everybody to like just 1v1 like and not to be afraid of that contact and everything. So I think that's just like our mentality as a team. These guys are in the weight room at least twice a week. Um, when Brad puts together a complete program for them, um, the fitness level, the strength, and you do see him bouncing off. Um, the injury prevention, it's been huge. I mean, our, since Brad's been in our program, our injuries probably have been cut 80%, 90%. I mean, it's, we used to have, you know, at this point in the season, two, three people on crutches, and we don't. That doesn't happen, knock on wood, but uh, it's huge. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.